Regifting seems to be in vogue at the moment, especially when we've had to tighten our belt buckles and books make for easy targets. During a cost of living crisis, it appears to be the norm. No longer is it frowned upon as it was in the past, and you won't be seen as the Grinch of the family. Moreover, an increasing number of people are turning to sustainable gift giving as consumer mindset shifts. Towards saving our planet, and as a result, individuals are actually becoming more conscious of the environmental impact of their choices, leading them to seek ways to align their values with their purchasing decisions. Now, according to a 2022 study by Pack and Send, which surveyed more than 1,500 participants, over two thirds of respondents actually admitted that they plan to regift items. The research also revealed that over half of the respondents were more likely to regift items last year than in the past, as a direct result of the cost of living crisis. And Royal Mail's latest report suggested that over half of consumers would be more likely to shop with an online retailer that has made a clear commitment to sustainability. So indeed, this is a watershed moment for retail and consumption. So let's dive into the personal stories and insights of individuals who have their unique perspectives on regifting books. Cheryl Robson, publisher at Aurora Metro Books. Feels the principle of regifting is a good one, as it is more sustainable to reuse items. However, when it comes to books, it is also important to remember to support authors and publishers and buy their books too. Rebecca Forster, a USA Today best-selling author, says a book is a terrible thing to waste. Hence, paying it forward is a good idea. Dr. Marsha Layton Turner, founder of the Association of Ghostwriters, told us. Giving someone a book and explaining what you appreciated about the book and why you thought they would enjoy it demonstrates that you thought about what would make their life better. Stacy Ennis, CEO and founder at Creatively LLC, told us passing along a book means you've doubled the value because now two people get to read it. While Sandra Poirier Smith, CEO of Smith Publicity Inc., says. By sharing not only the book but also the story behind it, you're providing the recipient with more than just literature. We also spoke to readers, and 93% told us that they would be happy to regift their books out of 128 people. In the end, regifting books appears to benefit both the giver and the recipient, as well as the world at large. It's not just about sharing stories; it's about sharing wisdom, fostering connections, and making our world a better place. So the next time you're faced with a dilemma of what to do with a book gift, consider the possibilities of regifting. It's a journey of both the heart and the mind. What do you think? Comment below. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the art of regifting books. Remember, a book is a gift that keeps on giving. With that in mind, pay it forward and please hit like, subscribe for more thoughtful content. See you next time.